comes with this carrying bag. I put my gloves in here. In this box has the accessories, you can different tool uh, connections like this, which I have not used yet. There's a round cutting tool. And it's got the uh, sanding pads and the sanding adapter. You can put the pads underneath it. And it came with two of these. I've got one on the tool right now. And then it's got an adapter that you use right here for other brands of attachments. Here's another tool that I bought because I knew I needed it. And it came with a couple more of the what I just showed you. Some of that plus this. This is a scraper tool. So instead of just sitting there scraping my hand with a putty knife or something, and it says glue all over it from something I have scraped off. But um, I'll show you how this works as well. All you do to remove a certain tool, flip this lever up, and loosen up the tool right there that's attached. See? Watch. Now I'm going to add this one to it. So you just slot it in opening. We'll go in. Like that. Make sure it's all the way in. I just hold it like that until it gets tight enough. And you can do these at different angles. There's a certain angle you want to go, maybe like that, you know. Hold the tool, cut that way or whatever. So, or like that, you know, all different ways you can do that. But straight on is just, you know, like that. Crank this down and tighten it. I don't usually over tighten it. Once you get it where you want it, Crank this back over and swivel it around and snap it down. It's easy as that. You can see that it's oscillating back and forth like this. Now I'm not sure how well it will work on this surface because it's got the foam underneath it. But we'll see, see what happens here. That's working really well. Look at that. That's really getting that off of there like really easily easily it's gonna get pretty messy so I want to put a mask on to do this but that's that's how it's that's how it's going it's working really well the sanding attachment right here and comes with 26 of these sandpaper pads and they just they have a soft side over here and it just velcros to the attachment like this put it on a little bit straighter and uh, I'm gonna give this thing a try feels like it holds on there pretty well and uh, I'm not sure what the coarseness is of this paper, particular sandpaper. It feels feels okay, like a medium to light. And for what I'm going to use it for, it's going to be fine. I'm going to be sanding on the floor down here. See, it's got this universal attachment right here that goes on the tool right there. And I'll show you how easy that is to put on. Build up stuff on the rug. 
that simple. And then you just crank it and tighten it on there. Now this has six power settings, speed settings. It's on four. So basically what I'm doing on these boards is I'm just kind of busting these edges a bit, softening up the edges. And I'm going to use it to kind of pry up underneath this wood that's stuck. This wood is stuck really bad to the, the foam insulation and this piece of board here that's running across uh, because this just got so wet and uh, the other piece that I pulled up here wasn't as bad. But I've already pried under here a little bit, but I'll show you how it works. it up a little bit and That's a good example of how this this add-on piece works. Another really good reason to own one of these oscillating tools is you can cut up really close to, I mean I could cut all the way up to here if I wanted to, but you can tell, see, you can cut really close up to walls with it. It's a very clean cut edge there and these, these things are just really handy very handy to, to uh, have. It's, I don't know how I'd do this job so easily without this tool. I highly recommend it. Here's a look at that piece. After I took off all that extra messed up part on top of the surface, basically I planed it down with this tool that I use for cutting. See, and I just went along the surface of the board like this slowly and you can see all the dust from it, all the, the wood sawdust right there. Works really well. I'll show you real quick. Tore out the old linoleum and just got to scrape this. This is that paper part under the linoleum that gets stuck with the glue that they used on it to hold it to the wood. And uh, it's, it's quite a job, this tool here. Oscillating tool is a huge help.